Why, thank you. The annual Oral Cancer Foundation 5K in the run is this weekend at O.P. Schnabel Park. I will be there. Jessica will be there, and we're going to have a lot of fun. We have a couple of survivors this morning to talk about their story and about this event. Elizabeth Sycon is here, and Tim Dusick. You guys have both survived this. Yes. Look wonderful. And uh, Elizabeth, you, know, you were stage four. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? We talked so much about cancers, you know, breast cancer this past weekend with the Coleman Walk, but oral cancer doesn't get as much exposure as you would probably like. Right. How common is it? It is actually pretty common. There's 100 new cases diagnosed every day, and there's a, a person that dies from oral cancer every hour of every day. Those are startling statistics there, and, and Tim, I mean, that was you at one point. Yes. We're happy to say you're, you've survived this and come out on the other end looking pretty good, but in that moment, when you get that diagnosis, can you take us through that and what it is when it's your mouth and, you know, I mean, what is that like? When you get the cancer diagnosis, uh, a friend of mine described it, who's also a fellow survivor, as everything just goes black in your world. Uh, everything stops. Uh, you just kind of lose uh, your, your sense of consciousness for a while. Mm -hmm. It really takes a while for it to sink in uh, because naturally when you hear the word cancer, you automatically think the worst. Mm -hmm. And then takes a few days and meeting with your doctors and then you kind of get a little more rational in your thinking. Unreal. I've heard just being a sports fan over the years, Elizabeth, oral cancer, you hear like baseball players who chew tobacco or do that kind of stuff, but I know you had said you never smoke or drink before this, I mean this came out of nowhere for you. Right, yes. Uh, I was not a smoker, I was not a drinker, and my tumor, actually they tested it later on for HPV because that's more common in younger um, individuals now and it was even HPV negative so I was just one of the lucky few that had no risk factors and just ended up having it. Mm -hmm. I know a little bit about your story and I don't know how similar it is for the two of you but just physically what you went through um, because didn't they take part of your yes. tissue and stuff? Uh, explain that, what happened? Okay so I was stage four, I was given a 19% chance of survival. Um, I ended up doing um, nine weeks of induction chemo to try to shrink the tumor which it didn't shrink it enough, so we went through 14 hours of a surgery where they took um, six inches of my right fibula bone to replace my jaw, and then they also took the muscle and tissue from my leg, and they rebuilt the base of my tongue and completed all that space back in there, and then I went through radiation for about six weeks. So the right side of your jaw right now is the bottom of your fib fibula, fibula bone? bone yes. Okay, but, but again, and you, you look wonderful. Uh, Tim, you both brought... I guess a, a mask or something, and we'll show it here. Uh, it's right behind you, and, and uh, Elizabeth is on the right, the, the larger one. Explain what this is, Tim, and, and how you used this. Uh, the mask was done uh, during radiation, uh, minus the one on the left. Uh, it basically goes over your face. They mold, they do a mold and, and fit you for it. Uh, and then when they do the radiation, uh, mine, and I'm sure Elizabeth's was every day, mm -hmm. uh, mine was 28 treatments. and you're basically bolted down to the table. Uh, they bolt that uh, mask down. It's very unnerving. Uh, and yours, Elizabeth, was larger because you were stage four? Stage four. Um, it was already inside my lymph node, so they ended up removing 50 of my lymph nodes mm. and 10 tested positive for cancer, so they needed a bigger area to radiate, so wow. it was quite bigger. What an emotional time that must have been for you guys, but we're happy to say we're all going to be out there on Saturday. We want to put up the information here. Opie Schnabel Park is the place to be. You might have noticed they're wearing burgundy. That's the color for oral cancer. I'm sure we'll see a lot of that this weekend there. Uh, people can still sign up yes, for this? Yes. Okay. So there it is, Saturday, 8 to 12, OP Stable Park in the 9600 block of Bandera Road. We're hoping for wonderful weather and a lot of people to be out there for that 5K. You can walk it. You can run it. All the registration information, we'll have it on our website at foxsanantonio.com. But again, please, uh, just a round of applause for you two. I mean, that's just amazing what you guys have been able to overcome. And, We'll see you guys this weekend. All right, thank you. Good stuff. Okay, 847 now. We're going to step aside.